Next is from Jared Aviat, and the subject is Ahmad Johnson, Big T, and WCW. Hi, K100 fam. Thank you, as always, for taking my question. K100 outcast Abel continues to show people that he makes Kevin Gill look like Antonio Sabato Jr. with his fat Albert frame and the Hills Have Eyes spazlik. Your mom, I bet your mom, his mom was fine for littering soon after she gave birth. Aww. I had a, just had a question to Conan and Disco. Did you hear that, Joe? <laughs> question to Conan and Disco well, about I never... Ahmed Johnson, about Ahmed Johnson, aka Big T, from when he was in WCW. He's part of Harlem Heat 2000 for a brief period. I know Disco worked with him several times at least. Not sure if Conan did. I've heard stories for many years by many people. He was difficult to work with. It would hurt guys in the ring. He had the label of being dangerous. Does Conan Disco have any stories at all about working with Big T and WCW? Any memories of the former Ahmed Johnson would be interesting to hear. Thank you very much. Best, Jared. I mean, bro, there's a lot of video evidence in WCW. We were doing stuff with him. He was very reckless. He was very reckless with, you know, dropping guys on their head and stuff. It was just, it wasn't good. And the funny thing was, I think I was doing the Mama Lukes and I was in the booking committee with, with Vince and Ed and stuff and everything. And like Vince, it was Stevie Ray and, and, and Big T. And like it wasn't Stevie Ray and Booker, you know. Stevie Ray was the big, you know, big guy, you know, slower and stuff, you know, more power. And Booker was like the athletic guy. But the, but you had Stevie Ray, the you know, the bigger guy, slower than Booker, with another guy that was even slower than than than, than Stevie Ray. And Vince would like book some stuff, like like matches with these guys and stuff. And I'm like, Vince, what what, what are you vi- visualizing here? I, I I tell him like that this match is going to suck. I go, you have like a bunch of guys that do not work good with each other in there and stuff, you know, and it was like, uh, cause he was just, I don't know. It's just like they were, there was a certain speed and pace on the show and, and big, he was just a little like, like he, he was like slower, mm, slower. Okay, you know, like, I, I yeah. just want to make sure that you make sure hugely knows to put that disco said Stevie Ray's not a good worker. Yeah. That's not I true. Noticed that. Stevie Ray was a good worker. He just was a different, he was a, a different back style back than yeah. Booker. Booker was a, a could fly and stuff. Right. Stevie didn't do that. I think Vin- but Stevie Vince, and Booker were so great together because they were. This. But the thing is, Booker and Stevie were so good together because they were they were they had a you know a, a yeah, contract. natural chemistry. But and Booker they had and a Big T together, that's too. right. That's yeah. just like two big yeah, they guys. Were both two big right. slow yeah. guys. Yeah. Well, right. So and, what? Go ahead. Okay. So um, the only thing I'm to say, yeah, I, uh, that was a big. Let me say that because Stevie Ray was big. Maybe he used to carry around a gallon of milk with him. Huh? He always had a gallon of milk with him. Did he? No yeah, sure. he would always drink. A ga- he'd have a gallon of milk with him at the show, and he would carry this gallon of milk around. I'll always and drink the drink the gallon of milk. It was like crazy. It was like a well, <laughs> guy drinking a gallon you of milk. Get, you know, you guys. Know, it was guys, a regular milk. It was whole milk too. It wasn't like two yeah. percent or skim or you know this. And back then, that was like if you were drinking whole milk back in two thousand, the year ninety nine, two thousand. You were like, well, what? What are you doing? Like, you're supposed to drink skim milk. Yeah, you know, like because we were athletes, we were like, you know, you're not supposed to drink. You know, so that was kind of crazy. So. Well, see, what you guys might not remember, maybe you weren't watching or whatever, is when he was in WWE, he was about 60, 70 pounds I don't, lighter. I don't. I don't I, we're, let's edit this yeah. out for Jared. Yeah. So when when, when Joe's, I'm well, offering we're, context. We're, we're, I'm not answering the question. I'm offering context. Right. Uh, he was like 60, 70 pounds lighter, and he was like. Intercontinental yeah, he was. champion. He was, he was he, bigger. It was yeah. funny because he was he was he was heavier. He was heavier. He was carrying around a gallon of whole milk with him yeah. all day. I'm like, maybe you should put down the gallon. Of- <laughs> <That's> but I, <laughs> I mean, want to lose the weight, maybe you should put down the gallon of milk. You know? I think Vince probably saw him as, oh, this guy was a main eventer when I was there. He teamed with Michaels and Warrior, and he was intercontinental. Like he just saw him differently than you did because all you saw was a guy coming in out of shape, and Vince yeah. probably still saw him. As oh, a star. he was over huge at Vince's b- b- promotion at one point. He was jacked, and he was over. You know, what was that Ring of Glory? Did he go over there? No, but with Vince McMahon. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah no, he was. Yeah. yeah, he was top of the card. Yeah, yeah. 